Well, welcome Tauruses and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Tuesday the 10th of January through to Sunday the 15th of January 2023. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the rest of this week. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the soulmates of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Tuesday the 10th of January through to Sunday the 15th of January 2023. Re-energize, okay. My angels and spirit, spirit guides of the divine, please can, thank you. So we have discernment, communication, and ask for help. Okay, so Tauruses, uh, for those of you that I'm connecting with this week, uh, many of you with this re-energize, uh, many of you may be feeling really, really good. Okay, uh, I feel this real free energy, feels like feeling really confident with the future with regards to whoever you're connecting with. I feel that you're being guided to ground yourself, re-energize because there is something that you're not seeing that I feel Divine Spirit Universe is asking you to look at the detail with regards to communication and ask for help for clarity. Now, either you and this person either have had a bit of, uh, how can I put it, um, Either there's been a bit of a derailment in the connection and you've come out the other end. And so many of you are feeling really positive about the future, feeling really energized. But it feels as if um, you're, you're, you're being guided to see something that you're not seeing. And it feels as if whoever you are connecting with, there's something that they want to say to you, but they may be going back and forth. And you're being guided to apply discernment. Look at the detail, look at the detail of their communication and then ask Divine Spirit Universe for guidance of what it is that you should be seeing or, or get some sort of clarity. Um, like it's almost like I feel like you're I, I'm being guided to answer for, to, for you to ask Divine Spirit Universe. What is it you're not seeing with regards to a communication with this person um either they want to say something or they want to get something off their chest but basically the two of you are out of alignment yeah um it could be a pattern of behavior that needs to be broken or if there was a derailment in the connection this person there's something that's still on their chest and so as you are kind of like on cloud nine, it almost feels as if this person isn't on the same page. And so you're being guided to ground yourself and look at the detail of how this person is communicating to you. Or should I say not communicating? Look at the detail of that. Because their back is towards you or your back is like your back is towards the communication that's coming at you and you may not be discerning looking at the detail of something that you're just not seeing my angels and spirit guide thank you salvation absolutely green tar is coming in as your ally to help you to save you from something that you're not seeing it's almost as if there's something that you can nip in the bud if you apply a bit of discernment with regards to some sort of communication that either they're giving you or not giving you. And you may not be seeing it because your back is towards the communication. So, for example, what's coming to mind, um, Taurus, like if this person was very um, expressive with their emotions um, and I don't know, if there was a bit of a derailment or something the two of you have come out of it you're fine you feel everything's back on track they may have stopped their expression of um love okay and that if you look at it that is a pattern of behavior that you're being guided to look at the detail why aren't they being as communicative to you with regards to their emotions like freely and openly expressing love to you if they've stopped doing that you're being guided to look at that 
there's a rebirth here. So it feels as if as you discover or look at the detail with regards to communication with somebody, you will discover something that I feel that you can save it. You can um, nip it in the bud, get to the bottom of it, and that will trigger the true rebirth of the connection. Hence, getting them on this re-energized, um, free-spirited um, energy that you are um i'm feeling and you're portraying um so many of you you may be feeling extremely positive about the future with this person but there's something that they're holding back and you're being guided that you can save it yeah you can save it by seeing something um that you you, you perhaps are not seeing right now my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question, how does these soulmates of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Whoops, thank you. Oh, bonus here as well. Liberation, compassion, yeah. With the alley of um, Kali coming in, it's almost as if by you seeing some sort of detail with regard to their communication or the communication between the two of you you can save something and liberate free something it's like it's like this person either has something that they still have to get off their chest and it's almost as if you're being guided to give them the space to be liberated so that you can correct it you can save it you can really initiate a transformation a rebirth and you're being guided to apply compassion to them yeah so it almost feels as if you're being guided to hear them out so that they can feel either liberated they can feel as if they have really got whatever it is off their chest with regards to whatever happens might be something might be nothing but this person definitely has got something on their mind that they uh, i feel that you're being guided to create that environment for them to be liberated to say their peace and for many of you you can save the connection by applying some compassion um correcting um, a thought process maybe giving your viewpoint and that triggers a rebirth in the connection a full transformation Okay. All right, let's jump straight into your message and see what um, further information we can get. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? For week commencing Tuesday the 10th of January through to Sunday the 15th of January 2023. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's see what's going on. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. So page of cups, okay. So whoever you are connecting with, either whatever it is that they are that need to be they need to be liberated, they need to speak about, or there's something in the connection that needs to be saved, liberated in order to apply a rebirth. Um, it may be to do with you uh, offering some sort of an apology, okay? Um, or they are wanting some sort of green light from you or a token or an offering of something to do with love, okay? Ace of Swords. And I feel that they definitely want to speak their truth. I told you. This is something to do with their feelings, emotions, um, that I feel that either they're wanting some clarity from you. And as they speak their truth, that's where the victory comes in. And it feels as if you're being guided to apply some compassion, ask for some help and guidance from Divine Spirit Universe as to what it is you need to say to heal this situation or to give them the space to speak their truth um or what it is is there some sort of action that i feel they want you to take with regards to offering something an apology a token of love 
um no matter how small it is you're the one that can save and liberate this connection but it almost feels as if you're being guided to give them to recognize that there is something that they want to say with that ace of swords that's what's really going to bring about um getting this person and you on the same page and a true rebirth and it may require some compassion yeah, maybe you have been so re-energized and so looking forward to the future that you may not be in the here and now in the present and maybe showing love or, you know, giving them some sort of token or something um, to reassure them that you're both on the same page. With the two of wands, yeah, you're both at a crossroads. And I feel that you are being guided to take the higher ground and see something with discernment. Look at the detail with regards to communication with this person. Yeah, they're at a crossroads, you're at a crossroads, but it feels as if you are the one that can save and liberate this connection by, yeah, taking the higher ground and applying discernment. Thank you. Well, for you, um, I feel this Empress energy. Mm. Now, it's either you, Taurus, that's coming in as the Empress, or you are thinking about this person, somebody that you think the world of. Um, the only reason why I say it might be this person, because I was channeling that you see a really bright future with this person. With the Empress, this is somebody that is um long-term commitment somebody that is nurturing somebody that you can have a family with so if you are feeling really energized and looking forward to the future really free-spirited um open like things are moving forward in the right direction this could be the person that you're thinking about you see them as part of your future you see them as somebody that you can build a future with yeah um you do definitely think the world of them yeah but there is something they want to say. Yeah, look at that with Ace of Cups. There is unconditional love between the two of you. And what I love with this card is that whatever is going on in your human experience with this person, just know on a soul level, the two of you love each other unconditionally. But it feels as if this unconditional love, there's a, a, a rebirth, there's a transformation, there's a new beginning um, by understanding something that they want to say. You've got two aces here. OK, so it feels as if this is being divinely guided, hence why you're being guided to ask for help from divine spirit universe, your higher self, because once they speak their truth and come out victorious, it heals something that they're not showing me right now. But what it does, it triggers a new beginning. It triggers a rebirth with this person. Yeah. Let's clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify? Thank you. So with temperance in reverse, I feel that this person, whoever you are connecting with, they are impatient, okay? Temperance face up is um, somebody that's being patient. They may be feeling very impatient to say something about whatever it is that is on their mind. They may be impatient waiting for you to apologize waiting for you to um offer some sort of token of love or something that that but they are impatient um feeling very frustrated that you may not be seeing in between the lines of something that they are wanting from you all right um an apology um a green light of i don't know but they want something they definitely want a token of love it's something to do with love yeah they are feeling very very frustrated that you're not coming forward with it thank you look at that the page of cups i'm telling you this is an apology whoever you are connecting with they want an apology for something that's what it is. I mean, you can't deny two cups here, two pages of cups, which is technically an apology. But, you know, it can be an offering, a token, a green light of love. 
But it feels as if with them feeling frustrated, it's because they are wanting you. Because look at those two pages are coming towards them. So it's as if they are wanting some sort of an apology from you. And they're getting quite impatient because you haven't clocked on that that is what they require to liberate them, to free them, to save the connection. Let's continue. My angels, thank you. Yeah, look at that. There's a delay. The full card in reverse. The full card is um, taking a leap of faith, right? Um, a, a, a new beginning, taking a leap of faith with this connection. With the full card coming in reverse, this is somebody that is um, feeling as if they are uncertain about a future with you. But they also, if they are feeling frustrated that you haven't apologized for something or you've not given some sort of token of love or you've not offered something and they're frustrated because you haven't done that this is them seeing you being a little bit careless like neglecting them neglecting something that evidently is important to them yeah um and i feel that once you offer it or whatever this is no, it looks as if it's an apology okay you may know what it is that is when they will speak their truth that is when some sort of truth some sort of victory some sort of um yeah some sort of salvation something being liberated something that is being released Okay, in order for this new beginning that I feel that many of you, you are already there, but this person, they've still got something to say. Let's continue. Oh, look at that. There you go. The tower. So there is something that devastated this person and it feels as if they feel that you neglected to see something is upsetting them devastating them something that needs to be spoken about uh they feel if it's an apology maybe you said something unbeknown to you unbeknown to you your communication maybe you said something and turned your back on it um not even realizing that it it really upset this person they want to speak their truth about it it's like they want to clear something up Thank you. Well, with the Wheel of Fortune, you guys will, you, you'll, you, uh, either you'll understand what it is that I am talking about, but the Wheel of Fortune is on this person's side. So things will move forward. Divine Spirit Universe is almost, um, I suppose, blessing them with some sort of communication or guiding them with regards to the path to take. Um, to speak their truth, to um, be liberated from whatever this hurt was or um, devastation. Um, may maybe it's not even to do with um, you and them. It could be something else that's going on in their life and they're wanting your support, wanting your help. Um, and you're not, f you've not really clocked on that they... Yeah, maybe they are asking for your help. If they are, I don't know why they just don't come out and say it, quite frankly. But, you know, you know your situation. Maybe I misinterpreted it. Maybe they are asking for your help, but they're not communicating it quite clearly. Either it's because they kind of feel that, like, they shouldn't have to ask for your help. Like, it should be freely given. But with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel that they're going to kind of, you're going to get it. You're going to, whatever this is, it feels as if you will save, like you will save the day. You will get it. Yeah. You will understand and you will reach out to them. Yeah. Because that's what brings about the victory. Look at that, the four of coins in reverse. So I would say that many of you, you do think about this person. 
yeah, you do think about them. Um, I feel that this is somebody definitely you don't want to let go, somebody that you don't want to lose. But with the four of coins coming in reverse, many of you, um, either either you've got an instinct something is going on and you're not trusting it because this is about mistrust this is about loss this is about maybe i don't know maybe that's why they're saying to you apply discernment because you're maybe not trusting your instincts look at the higher ground take the higher ground um, maybe they're trying to say that you could lose this person if you don't um, look at the detail of what's going on. They, they need your help for something or they, they, they need something from you. It could be an apology or they genuinely need your help with, with regards to something. And they almost feel as if you're neglecting to see that. And I feel with the four of coins, many of you, this is... Either you don't trust your instinct or, you know, Divine Spirit Universe is coming in letting us know that you could possibly lose this person if you don't take the higher ground and apply discernment with regards to what they're communicating. Or in this case, it might be they're not communicating something. Yeah, but there is something they definitely want to speak their truth about. Yeah, many of you, look, you see this person as your divine counterpart, the empress and the emperor. Yeah. Um, I would say that many of you either... I mean, the emperor could be anything from control, leading, being stubborn, being jealous... Or you're being guided to, to, get, to take control of the situation and see that you might lose this person because you're not applying discernment. There's something that you're not seeing. And maybe they're saying to you, take the lead with regards to something that you're not seeing. So if you're not trusting your intuition, you might not even realize you're at a crossroads with this person. But your intuition must be speaking to you in some shape, form or another, because my initial instincts with ask for help was for divine to ask divine spirit universe to see clearly what it is you need to do. And it feels as if if you're not trusting your instinct, you're being guided to take the lead on something. Many of you might be waiting. So either your intuition is telling you something you're not trusting it, Tauruses. You may be waiting to for, for more information. I feel that you're being guided to take the lead. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you're definitely being guided to take the lead of what's going on with this person that you're thinking about. But you're waiting. Or may oh look they okay because we already ascertained that the empress was their energy they are waiting for you to take the lead to um offer your help or to apologize okay if not you might lose them <laughs> oh dear lord okay Sometimes it does, sometimes these cards can come out with the message so clearly, right in your face. Um, yeah, so yeah, so they are waiting for you to take action, um, to offer an apology or, um, yeah, offer help to do with something outside of the connection that has devastated them, okay? And they are frustrated 
they are frustrated that you can't see that they need your help or they that you can't see that they need an apology with the uh, ten of cups well this person definitely is your wish fulfillment your happiness but again with the ten of cups you may be unhappy unhappy or you're picking up something isn't quite right but you may be masking over it because i feel that you are definitely um you know on cloud nine with this connection but the ten of cups um is te technically um a, a broken a broken relationship it could be also that you're neglecting to see this is neglect broken relationship misalignment so you're not in alignment with the love that is there between the two of you. You may be, may be neglecting um, seeing that this person is wanting you to take action to help them with something or to apologize to them. Yeah. Um, and it could be, like I said right at the beginning, the two of you, there might have been a bit of a derailment, a, a bit of a breakup at some point prior to this week. But you guys have come out the other end. There's still something that is bothering this person. Yeah. And you're not seeing it. And they're waiting for you to see it. <laughs> Okay, but this is definitely a fated connection. You, I would say that this person is your divine counterpart, for sure. Do you remember to apply compassion as well? It might be something, it could be something outside of the connection that's affecting this person. But it almost feels as if, like, do you know something, right? If you're a Tories male, I know that this is going to be such a cliche, but this is a, a typical scenario of men are from Venus, women are from Venus, men are from Mars. It's almost as if Taurus, if you are a male Taurus, it's almost, and you're involved with a female, okay? It almost feels as if the expectation is you should know what's going on in their mind. Yeah. And I know that that is something men say all the time. Like, how am I supposed to know if you don't talk about it? It's like they expect you to know, <laughs> you know, they expect you to know that they need your help or they need you to um, um, apologize. You know, it's like I, it's, it's that if I was the woman, I'd be saying to you, Taurus males, like I shouldn't have to tell you that you need to help me. I shouldn't need to have to tell you to apologize. You should just know how to do. You, you know, you should just know that that is the right thing to do. That kind of thing. OK, if you're a Taurus woman, um, then, um, yeah, I feel that there's something that you're not seeing um that this person just is wanting you to help them with or to apologize for something and the final card yeah look you're being called to take action yeah so if there was a breakup here taurus prior to this week and the two of you have kind of got back together and you're absolutely re-energized looking forward to the future um there's something that you're not seeing um there is a rebirth it's like you haven't fully come out of the breakup okay because you're being called to do something you're being called uh, to restore the connection to its full glory by applying discernment to see that they are wanting something an apology or something for you to help them with okay but yeah you're definitely being called to action and that is when the true rebirth of the connection will happen particularly if their connection there was a breakup prior to like this week yeah, and you've come out the other end. Whatever it is, it is going to require compassion. Yeah, compassion to whatever it is that tower moment is with this person. Okay, so we have got Aries popping up here and Sagittarius. So Aries or Sagittarius could be in your chart or their chart. Okay, let's have a look and see what your advice is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your advice? Thank you talking um interested conversing more awaiting message arrives text call email hovering so this person look I'm, i can't make it up 
You saw me shuffle the cards. This person wants to talk about something. The Ace of Swords is all about communication, 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 talking. There is something that needs to be talked about, okay? Um, they want you to be interested in something. They want to talk more. They are awaiting a message, um, waiting for you to call or email or to ask, is everything okay? That's when they will speak. Everything is not okay. Coffee. <laughs> oh, my God. Rest in peace. Endings. Bring new beginnings. Growth change. Liberation. Transformation. You are being guided to liberate this person. For goodness sake. Um, Taurus, liberate this person with regards to whatever it is they want to talk about. Okay. That is where the true rebirth, the true new beginning, the reconciliation after a broken down in communication, a broken relationship, you've come through the other end. There is a new beginning, but the ending hasn't fully ended, if that makes sense. And that's what you're being guided to apply discernment. Really look at the detail and liberate this person so that they can speak whatever they need to speak. And there you go. There comes the passion. Insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. Yeah, it's almost as if there is unconditional love between the two of you. There is absolutely no doubt about it. But for goodness sake, whatever it is they want to talk about, gee whiz, liberate them. You can save the day. Um, and many of you, the true rebirth, the true re-energizing energy that you feel and feeling really positive with the future, that when they speak, whatever they've got to speak, that's what gets you both on the same page, gets you realigned, because this could be uh, out of alignment. Um, the two of you will definitely have a very, very passionate week, weekend, once this person speaks whatever they've got to speak, and you apply some compassion my God, say sorry, <laughs> whatever it is, um, you know, because there is a new beginning here. Uh, this person is definitely your counterpart. Um, and I feel that you can absolutely, with Green Tara as your ally, um, save the day um, and just kind of put to bed whatever it is they want to say and get off their chest. Passion. Yeah, some good times, some good fun coming in this week. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you, Tauruses. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, my beautiful, beautiful Tauruses, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.